What's going on guys, my name is John M. Nova, and today I have another gold tutorial on World of Warcraft for you. Uh, this one does have some requirements, you do need Miss Vendaria, which at this point a lot of people already have, and you do have to be above the level 85. This is also kind of achievement guide for Treasure of Pandaria, which requires you to find one of these treasures around Pandaria. All of these treasures that I'm going to show you are found in the Jade Forest, uh, basically right next to each other. The first location is the Pandarian Ritual Stone, and this is worth 105 gold. You might need to figure out your own route because I did not really take a recommended path. I went through a few camps of Hosen and died twice. This stone is found in the middle of the lake, and it is kind of hard to miss because it's surrounded by a lot of other ritual stone type things. The second location is the Ancient Pandarian Teapot, which is worth 100 gold. This is northeast of the Pandarian Ritual Stone, and it is on a table. And finally, the third location is the Lucky Pandarian Coin, which is worth 95 gold. This is directly east of the teapot and is in a pond. All of these treasures obviously add up 300 gold and doesn't take long to get them. It, it took me about uh, 15 minutes because I had to look up some information on it and where they were and whatnot. But since you just watched this video, uh, it will probably take you less than 30 seconds to get them. Now, there is a few facts you need to know before you go off and try to get these items. You can only loot them once with each character, they do not respawn, which sucks because you can't do this like daily you can't like just wake up in the morning and be like i need 300 gold let's go do this no it's just a one-time thing you can only do it once with each character which kind of sucks but it's still a unique way of making money supposedly you get a few hundred thousand xp depending on your level from looting these items but i didn't get any xp at level 88 so i don't know what levels you get those xp but tell me if you do get any xp because i would like to know and i would like to know how much you get from what level there are a few glitches with these treasures. There are people saying that uh, there are phasing glitches, which means when you're far away from it, you can see it and it's all shiny and looks like you can loot it, but when you get closer to it, uh, for some reason, it disappears and becomes unlootable. There is a rumor that uh, this depends on how far you are into the quest line or storyline. There are, is another rumor that is partially fixed with all horde characters, which I don't really know about because I don't have any high level horde characters so I couldn't really test it out. Uh, but all horde characters you shouldn't have to really worry much because people are saying it's fixed. If you close your loot window before looting them, you will lose them. Uh, which I've had happen to me before with other items such as like armor and stuff like that. But it hasn't happened to me with treasures yet and I don't want that to happen to you guys so be careful when you're looting these. Like I said, all these treasures are right next to each other and it'll take you I guarantee you it'll take you under 30 seconds to get all of these if you watch this and you know what you're doing. If you do get stuck, just come back to the video and just pause it wherever you need to. Or you can go down in the description and go to the Wowhead pages where it tells you more information about these treasures. 